This video is brought to you by buyptcgeocodes.com, a great source for all your different code requirements to play the Pokemon trading card game online. If you use the checkout code CABIGON5, you'll receive a further 5% off your order. Check them out and let them know I sent you. What is up everybody, Hungry Cabigon here. Got kind of a random video for you. Uh, what I've got is uh, these Pokemon Get Challenge cards, which came in, uh, what was it, Shiny Star V packs, focus. They have a thing like this on the back, there's 24 different ones as it says, but they do have a code on there, which I will show you in just a moment. I'm gonna put my finger over it just for now just while I explain the deal. So, basically, uh, this QR code just takes you to the website, but basically what happens is if you put in this code, which is under here, it'll give you four points. And if you collect up to 30 points, you can get a bunch of prizes, So, which you can claim in Sword and Shield. So uh, you can get Mars Shadow, you can get Volcanion, you can get Genesect in the game, which is very nice. Uh, I have all of them already, hence the need for no more of these points, and I just realized they're going to expire on the 30th of April, so got to get onto it quick. Um, I'm gonna, I've got like a whole stack, I'm just going to show them all. Please, if you get this, you don't need more than 30 points. Like, you can get nothing more for having more than 30 points, so you need to get 32 because of like th these having four points, but there's really no point to put in all of them because it's not going to get you anything extra. Uh, I think you do get a Master Ball, you get a few good things out of it. So it's definitely worth doing if you have Sword and Shield. Um, this is the website as well. This this QR code will take you there, but it, you can see it there. Pokemon.co.jp slash EX slash get challenge underscore 2020. It is all in Japanese, but it's pretty straightforward to figure out. So anyway, here's the first code. Some of these uh, have been used by, by me, like eight of them. I don't know which ones, so apologies for that. And maybe some people snagged them uh, when I was filming the videos because at that time I didn't have a switch. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's just show them all to you. I got a ton of them. So first one, I guess I'm not going to leave it on the screen for too long. You need to like pause it or something. And just I'm just going to kind of blather on while I do this. So yeah, uh, definitely it's worth claiming if you get a chance. But like I said. Please don't just take all of them because there is there is literally no point. You get no benefit out of it. Um, having more than 30 is the maximum. You don't get anything extra for having 500 points or whatever. So, yeah, please don't do that. That's kind of not fair for everyone else. So, yeah, I just, I completely forgot about these. And then I just looked at them and I realized, like, they expire extremely soon um, in, like, two days. So, you really got to get onto this. Um, if you want it, now is your time. Do not delay. I have a lot, so there should be plenty to go around. If anyone is uh, interested in these, and like I said, you can use that QR code to take you to the website. And I can't remember exactly what was the procedure. I think... I seem to remember just when you unlock each thing, it just gives you a, a code. A, a gift code that you put in in the game which will then give you whatever um, so yes my shadow very nice I think they're all level 70 when you get them which is not bad it's a spicy little uh, Pokemon to get to add to your collection and uh, they're all quite good found the Genesect not to be so good good I don't know maybe I'm just don't have the right moves I'm not really like a big Genesect guy but Volcanion is very very good Mars Shadow is very, very good. I don't know if they always come with the same moves or what the deal with that is, but yeah, they prove very useful in the game. So, and um, like, if, even if you just started the game, you can still get them. Of course, you won't be able to control them until you have got all the gym badges and become the champion and all that good stuff. But still, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. So, I think that, yeah, if you have it, if you have the game, definitely worth doing. So please, please do it. Please don't let these go to waste. I have so many. Oh my gosh. Now I need something else to talk about. So, <laughs> uh, 
Um, interesting times at the moment for me. Lots of stuff happening in uh, in Japan. They're still supposedly going to have the Olympics in like three months time. I just don't see how it could possibly go forward, but sounds like it will. Sounds like they're pretty keen to to get it done. So that's interesting. Um, it's Golden Week holidays starting from right now, basically. Today was the last working day, at least for my company. So we got like seven or eight days off in a row. I have to go back to work on the 6th of May. So yeah, it's, it's a reasonable break. Um, typically it's time when everyone would go on holidays. You'd go like overseas or you'd go to like Okinawa or, you know, just travel around, do something if you have the means. Uh, this year, not so much, obviously. So my company is, is, you know, encouraging gently everybody to stay at home, which is fair enough. There is still no actual, you know, official, uh, lockdown or anything like that over here, but they like kindly ask you to do it. So I guess there will be, uh, not much going on, which is kind of a shame. Um, in terms of Pokemon cards, I talked about it a little bit recently. Eevee Heroes is coming out soon in a few weeks. Um, I'm knocking stuff on the floor. I'm entering some raffles to potentially be able to get some boxes. I really don't know what's going to happen with it though, so I'm going to try my best. I'm going to be uh, hustling to try and get some, but I'm not going to pay scalpers prices for boxes because like with the newest set that just came out, uh, the double set, there's not really that many like super expensive chase cards in there. And I was kind of looking at the prices of all the cards and I'm thinking like for the price of the four boxes that I bought, I could have bought like... <laughs> a reasonable percentage of all the SRs in the whole set, like most of them, with the exception of the really expensive ones. So it's kind of got me thinking like, maybe that's a better choice sometimes. So if we cannot get any EV Heroes boxes or packs or anything to start off with, I'm just gonna spend the money that I was gonna spend on the boxes just to buy singles. It's not as exciting a video just to be like, here's some cards that I bought. But it honestly probably makes the most sense financially. And then we can choose what we get as opposed to just having the luck of the boxes. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm thinking about that as a, as a serious option for this set. If we can still get boxes, of course, I'm still going to get boxes because it's going to be very popular. It's going to be uh, a fun video to film and I assume there's going to be some sweet alternate art evolutions to get. So yeah, one, one shop, um, that I'm going to go to, I haven't gone yet. Uh, basically saying like you can pre or not pre order. You can go in a raffle, um, for up to four boxes, one of the special sets and one of the special VMAX sets like we saw um, a little while ago. It's going to have like a bunch of different packs presumably in there and one special pack that has a VMAX card in it. Um, so I was kind of hoping to get a few of them because there will obviously be more than one VMAX card to get in there. But it looks like that's going to be hard to get. So I'm going to try all that and who knows, maybe they'll just say, yep, you can get all of that. But I don't know if they're going to draw like each of those four boxes that you that you signed up for individually. Uh, or if, if you win, it's just like, yep, you get your four boxes. I really don't know. So I'm going to do that. There's a couple of other shops that said they're going to have some kind of raffle. But I don't know like what's the procedure going to be at the moment. Like when I bought the Prismatic Art Collection Yu-Gi-Oh! Basically when the shop opened, they just said take a ticket and then like in an hour we're going to announce on Twitter or something like which numbers uh, won. So I guess they're going to do similar to that as well. So it's going to be a lot of like waiting around and hoping. Uh, but I was surprised even the last set when I went to pick up my boxes, which I had pre-ordered because they still let me do it. There was a lot of people going home disappointed 
from the shop. They did not get what they came for. So, oops. I don't want that to happen to me. That will be big sad. So, let's try. <laughs> I'm going to try my best. Um, but I cannot make any promises. So, I don't know. If anyone has like a connect <laughs> to some like distributor or something, hook me up. I want to know. I'm kind of curious like, because I, I see a lot of people scalping like, you can already see, like, the previous set, and with all sets, before they come out, people are already selling them, and people are selling, like, tons of the, the promos that you're supposed to get for buying boxes, which a lot of people couldn't get. And that means some people are obviously getting them and then selling them, which they're not supposed to do, presumably, because, you know, it's supposed to be a promo that gets given away. So, I guess those people are, like, a shop, or, like you know, they're getting from a distributor or something, I'm not really sure, but they have, like, tons of it, like, cases and cases of it. So, I don't know. I'm curious, like, what it would take for me to be, like, considered to be a shop. Like, if I had a website, is that enough? And then I can just be, like, just, I'll just take a case, like, 12 boxes of each set that comes out going forward. I don't know. I don't necessarily want to open all of them, but, like, I can always um, sell the ones I don't open. And, like, I'm not talking about selling them for a markup. I just sell them for, like, the regular price. So, I don't know. i got to kind of investigate that. Maybe that's something worth doing. If it's going to be, like, a, a crazy situation again, like what we had when Ultra Shiny came out. It's kind of already getting to that point. There's, like, very few places actually have products. And if they do, they have only, like, the undesirable sets. And then, even then, still people are buying them up because just there's nothing. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm hoping that I can get some kind of hookup to be able to get a reasonable number. I don't want to go crazy. I'm not going to buy, like, 100 boxes. But I just would like to get at least a few of each set that comes out. So, maybe that's something that needs to be investigated. And maybe I can <laughs> just make a website and be like, this is my shop. I sell one card a month. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's my rambling. I had to talk about something when I'm showing all these codes. Apologies if some of them don't work, like I said, but you should be alright. If you get in early, you should be alright to get enough of them. And I'm going to stress again one more time, you do not need more than eight, because that will get you the maximum number of points. So please don't claim all of them. It's not as easy, you got to, like, input it manually, but still, please don't do that. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoy these codes. Let me know if you managed to snag anything. Need to be claimed before April 30th, presumably Japan time. Um, so that's very soon. Today being the 28th at like midnight. So you've basically got, basically got two days. Get onto it. Let me know if you get anything. Um, check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.